Essa planta aí, perto do seu pé, é tabaco. Aquela lá, ó, perto daquela roda velha ali, ó. Prazeres é uma das mais beautiful neighborhoods que eu já vi. Eu estava apenas muito inspirada por as texturas e as cores e toda a natureza. Há muita natureza de fogo lá, apenas tomando conta. Eu vi esses elementos e queria trazer eles para o estilo do filme. Então, fazer isso mais como uma versão fantástica, mágica, da forma como uma pessoa poderia ver essa neighborhood ou como é normalmente retratada. Em termos dos looks que nós fizemos, We set. Um, I did some test footage in the beginning and uh, met with our colorist Eli in São Paulo, and we set some looks. Myself and my DIT would meet every night. Um, we st we lived in the same house together, but it was far away from set. So he would start his call time later. I would shoot, and then when we finished shooting for the day, I would sit with him. Being able to live with my DIT, we're able to deliver like color time dailies every day. I chose the Alexa Mini because I, I just wanted a really minimal, pared down, simple camera package. Um, and so just stripped it down. I knew, I knew the film would be handheld and I knew we'd be doing a lot of running around and I just wanted to keep it simple and compact. I try and like make the camera almost part of me. So, you know, people just get used to seeing it with me. I always have it. It's like just an extension of my body, but I just, like to kind of make myself as um, as like normalized with the camera as possible so it doesn't seem like something that's threatening or weird to have around and and then the actor feels um, comfortable with me being so close to them it's important for your d director to trust you in that relationship i think that's part of um, being a, a cinematographer and the director um, giving you that that trust of like be intimate with my actors, capture this performance, and you know, you kind of establish that, that language through your camera. The lighting was, um, a lot of it was inspired by the community as well. It was inspired by Prazeres, what's, what's naturally there. It becomes extra magical at night, and there's a lot of sodium vapors, a lot of just practical bulbs, a lot of bare bulbs, a lot of colored bulbs. So that sort of informed the way that I approached the lighting and also just the color palette of, you know, going between like really, really warm and, and really green. I really embraced those two colors based on what I saw already happening um, in the neighborhood. What was great was since Prezeres has its own power grid, we we're basically able to control um, all the lights in the neighborhood, all the like kind of street lights and stuff. So for shooting a night exterior on a street, we were able to like turn off all the lights and just keep one on. Things like that was great. I was also able to, you know, use my own practicals and my gaffer and I went shopping for light bulbs before the film and, and built like just very simple soft boxes and then just normal like Fresnels and Parkans, using a lot of the, you know, kind of deep orange gels and just making the lights that are coming in through the window similar to the feeling of a sodium vapor light.